Hi guys, so as promised, um, we are now in Legoland in Denmark um, for my son's Make-A-Wish holiday. The flight over was really easy, we flew over with British Airways, they were amazing, they did actually come out at one point and say to my son, did you want to go and meet the captain? Um, and he said no, because he's not great with new people, which was fine, so the captain came over and spoke to him instead, um, he just came over and, and said hello and shook his hand and, and all that and that was really really cool and then when we got here um, I must admit the hotel reception is slow I mean yesterday every single time I needed to get seen I waited at least 20 minutes before I got seen at least which is a bit of a pain but you know it's one of those things the room is great and um, my little boy wanted a pirate room and we've got a pirate room and it's it's dated um i will do a room tour with you at one point i'll probably put that on tomorrow um there's paintwork chipped off there's the skirting boards are a bit done it's it's not the best um but my son wanted a pirate room and he's got his pirate room so he's happy with that the park out opening hours the legoland park opening hours are actually 10 till 5 which i find a little bit unusual for a theme park um especially when you're coming down to breakfast at eight o'clock and then the park doesn't open until 10. Um, the best part of yesterday we spent going out the front doors walking all the way around down a big long road and then turning left and then going into the front entrance of the park. Um, it was only towards the end of yesterday after we'd spent all day doing this that a member of staff pointed out that we could just take a staircase up and go back down and that would bring us into the park after a full day of walking all the way around and being completely knackered but um you know that's it i will say it's it's ridiculously expensive here i mean it, it's it's just insane i must have spent about 300 pounds yesterday and we got here around dinner time and i've only bought a few little bits of lego and um, we did get room service at one point because they let us into our room early um, and we weren't actually booked in for food until tea time so around dinner time when we arrived we got room service and it cost 600 kroner um, which I think is around 50 pounds um, and we got my son got some Lego chips which are chips that look like Lego they're not great to be honest um, I got fish and chips which look like chicken nuggets but it was actually fish very overcooked um, and chips again very overcooked the food's not great um, we are booked on full board but when we came here we were told that we were only booked on breakfasts so then we had to contact the lady from Make-A-Wish who I've got to say Make-A-Wish have been insane you know anybody that has a holiday with Make-A-Wish they do everything for you um, absolutely everything they pay for flights they give you your holiday you get full board we do pay for drinks um, the drinks aren't included in the full board they are just amazing and any help or anything that you need you just email you you get a wish granter um, ours is called Kerry and she's absolutely lovely and if anything that you need you just email her and she emails you back as soon as she possibly can usually really really quickly and it's it, the make-a-wish experience is amazing it did take months for us to to go away the best part of a year in planning I, I, I believe but it's so worth it and, and the Make-A-Wish team are just incredible. I, I did actually email Kerry at one point and just say I wish I could meet you because it, it, it's just incredible. Um, like I say, the hotel, the room in the hotel, it's, it's old and it's dated and it's really hot here. It's the 29th of April. It's really, really baking hot. Yesterday it was just insanely hot and there is no air conditioning in the room. And you've got a massive window all down one side. It is like being in a greenhouse. It's horrendous. Um, there's also no English channels on the telly. Um, we went down to reception and pointed this out and we got told um, they don't have the money to put English channels, they don't have the money to pay for the package to put English channels on the TV. Um, I asked about air conditioning and I basically got told that They've just recently built a new hotel called the Castle Hotel um, and her response was, well, the, the new Castle Hotel has got air conditioning, but we don't have it here. Which was like, right, okay, so they've spent all the money on the Castle Hotel and anybody that wants to stay in the themed rooms, like a pirate room or a Ninjago room or anything like that, has to cope in a room that doesn't have air conditioning, which 
it's just insane. I mean, it's a hotel, it gets really, really, really hot and there's no air conditioning in the room, which... Um, so yeah, we baked, we absolutely baked um, yesterday and we've got another three days of baking in the room, so that's not great. Again, the park hours, it's open 10 till 5. For a theme park, 10 till 5 to me is a bit um, not great for a theme park. Um, 10 o'clock till 5 o'clock, 7 hours a day. Um, and especially when you've got no internet, the Wi-Fi connection in our room is neither use nor ornament, so we've no Wi-Fi in the room, we've no telly to watch in the room because it's all Danish. Um, the room is like a, a furnace. So the fact that the park shuts at 5 o'clock, um, you're then walking around the hotel trying to find things to do for the rest of the night. There's a little games room downstairs um, which has three Nintendo Switches um, with the controllers but that's three for the whole hotel so trying to find one of them to keep your child busy is um, virtually impossible. Um, it does have a, a table football but again that's always got somebody on it. Um, there's little bits as well in the hotel that are, uh, there's quite a lot of disrepair in the games room downstairs there's like an alien statue made out of lego but there's actually a, a screw protruding through his foot so if a child fell on that they would obviously cut themselves because it's quite a prominent screw um that's coming through this but anyway that's the hotel it's not great it's not the best um for a themed hotel i think they could do much much better i think all the money's been spent on the new hotel the castle hotel um, as opposed to this one um, but I mean my, my son is absolutely made up with it all you know he's, he's well in his element and that's all that matters because at the end of the day this holiday is about him um, at 10 o'clock this morning we are we got a letter yesterday when we logged in and at 10 o'clock this morning is going meeting a character in reception um, I don't know who it is he said he won't be happy if it's a princess because he's a boy and boys don't like princesses so i'll film that and i will show you the the, the video um when he's done it but he's he's meeting a character in reception and then the character is walking him down to um legoland so i don't know how that's gonna go but i know he's really really excited we're now just sat around trying to find stuff to do because like i say it's it's i think it's half past eight in the morning now here um and the park doesn't open until 10 o'clock so we got up at half six so we're just aimlessly walking around trying to find something to do. Um, yeah, but yeah, I mean, my son's having a great time. The hotel's not not great. Um, the food, I'm not too impressed with the food either. But we'll see what happens today. And my son did enjoy the lasagna at tea time last night. They had a lasagna and he ate, he went up three times. And he's really, really ridiculously fussy with his food. Um, the autism just any meal it is insanely difficult with him but he, he went up three or four times yesterday and got more and more of this lasagna he loved it i think he expected the lasagna for breakfast this morning but they didn't have it i didn't even eat the breakfast this morning i have to say it was no i'm not impressed with food so that's that um anything else that happens i will let you know um like i say i will film when he meets his character this afternoon um, and I shall post that up so you can see it. Um, the whole Make-A-Wish experience, the um, interaction with the people from Make-A-Wish and all that is is just, it's honestly, it's magical. If you have a child that goes and, and has a holiday with the Make-A-Wish Foundation, it, they do make the whole experience so easy. Um, the only reason that I have issues is, is down to the hotel really and the food. It's not down to Make-A-Wish. Um, they did send him a big box not long before we travelled with a massive box of Lego in it, which was a Lego house that you could switch around and turn into lots of different things. Um, he got a cap with Make-A-Wish, uh, a baseball cap with Make-A-Wish written on it. He got a couple of Make-A-Wish badges. He got a personalised letter um, that was sent purely to him with um, wishing him a good holiday and saying have a, have a great time and this, that and the other. Um, yeah it was brilliant they put expense they paid they gave us money for drinks because the full board in the hotel doesn't include drinks so they sent us money for drinks which went into my bank account two days before we flew out they also gave him 50 pounds worth of spending money um and they gave us taxi fares to get us from the airport in denmark to the hotel which i will say 
cost around £30. It was nearly 300 kroner. I think it was 270 kroner, which is about £27. Um, and the airport is so close, so close to the hotel, and it cost 270 kroner. Which again is about £27. Um, and you can actually see the planes landing from the hotel. That's how close it is. So it is incredibly expensive. Um, so yes, that's that's our first day. That's how our first day went. And I will speak to you tomorrow. Like I say, I will film his, his meeting with the character. And let you know how that goes. And I shall speak to you soon.